quite as dangerous. If something is misaligned, you have a very large expansion of energy in a very short amount of time, which is also called an explosion. <laughs> so before we do anything else, I'll set the test signal. Clear. This control panel connects these chambers in a series of... What's happening? With many parts, you began. With the heart of the saber, they are joined. Much more they will become. It's time. Builders, raise your lightsabers! <laughs> you built a lightsaber! Woo! Like the Jedi and Sith who came before you. And like them, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. The <laughs> 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 cat fucking flew. <laughs> Put that thing away. <laughs> oh, that's fucking okay. funny. Oh. All right, we are gonna play some fucking Star Wars: Knights of the Motherfucking Old Republic because Acolyte, fucking Episode Seven, came out today, and uh, I want to bitch and moan about it while playing uh, some good Star Wars. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me just check to see if my stream is okay first. Because if I if I don't do that and the stream is not okay, I'm gonna flip my shit. Okay, the stream is good. The stream is great. Let's all go home and masturbate. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I just wanted to rhyme. <laughs> Uh, what what's going on? Where'd the stream go? Ah, stream is good. What happened to it? All right, we're good. We're good, right? We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, everything's good. Everything's great. Hey, I got two viewers already. Holy shit! How you doing? How's it going? Let's uh. Let's get on with... Oh, I forgot we're in this boring-ass place. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well. Wait a minute. Did I? Oh, that's a quick save. Okay. Alright, let's, let's kill them all. Just kidding. Um, yeah, let's just see what the fuck's going on. precious Republic's days are numbered. turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Right. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malik isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. You we'll underestimate my power. Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. You know, I, I, I kind of dig the Sith armor a little bit, but it, it like the helmet, I think... The helmet needs some eye holes, man. I think that, they, it, it, you know... I think if they had some, like, cool-shaped eye holes, I think it'd be cool. I don't know, man. I think this, this needs, like, a little tweaking. But I still love this era. Anyway, so yeah, um... Oh my god, you, you know, fucking Acolyte, uh, they went, <laughs> they went back in time <laughs> and showed, you know, from the perspective of the Jedi, what happened. Um, and oh boy, you know, going back in time and seeing some of the dialogue said a second time. <laughs> oh my god, did it, boy did it highlight how bad dialogue this fucking show was. Mother, you can't deny that the Jedi have the right to, to 
mess with your children with your permission. You can't deny that I need your permission. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that dialogue? Oh, my God. it was so fucking stupid, man. Like, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. Let me find, like, a cantina or something to go to. Because I, I have no idea where I'm supposed to All these fish people are the same. I'm an ichthyist, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm an ichthy rapist. I'm a ra racist. I'm racist. Uh, ichthyist is like, you hate fish. <laughs> I accidentally called myself a fish rapist instead of <laughs> All right, that was stupid. All right, All right. Um. Ah, what is this? Uh, okay. I understand. I could just kill a man. All right, all right. This this is where we came from. So let's go back. I don't know where the fuck we're supposed to go here. I really don't really like this area. Man, I lost my viewer. I had a viewer and I lost it. Oh well. I got one still. How you doing? If you if you are indeed a viewer and not just me. Where the fuck am I? Oh. Store? How much for all this stuff, Tybar? Since you are a member of the Republic, I will charge you a week's salary. Thanks, Tybar. Catch you next week. Sith here, you say that shit. Ah, so I've seen Ah! Rochelle, spare you further outbursts. What may I do for you? This is what you have in stock. Alright, we got it. Superior to your ass. Let's see. What do you got here? Zaba Cannon. Why well, do you got these cool things, but I can't fucking. I don't have enough money to get them. Sell this. Get rid of this ion shit. 
believe so. I have a blaster. Uh, I'll keep it double bladed. Go to, you know, let me go to Yavin real quick. Cause I heard that there's a. Yeah, let me go to let me go to Yavin because I heard that there's a shop there that I can sell those bombs. Two that's uh. Yeah, turn down my hawk. Yeah, I wanna go to Yavin. Let's just check out Yavin. disappear. That's a cool ship. Oh, we're getting shot at. Incoming fire. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, why is this so fucking loud? God damn, it blow my fucking ear out. Okay. Man, dude, could you imagine if fucking the remake has fucking like. If the remake has like. Space travel, like. Actual. 
like flying through space like that'd be fucking that'd be dope and shit. Oh, it's a space station. It's actually not you have it four. Chiwi Aita ka chong chi cha Agi unko tune chuna muli ra Tongi wama jiko na Tong i pa no ku nek a Jiska do soki Kopa bono nakachu La bora na winki smak toma Kuyami jusku chita nai Uchu a penki Topa na oto bokasa Tongi wama agi unko tune Potongi wama jiko agi unko tune Tong pa no kun, no nek, chiwi aita ka chong chi cha. Tong hi duwama ag i unko tune, po tong hi duwama ji ag i unko tune. Tong pa no kun, no nek, chiwi aita ka chong chi cha. Ki muli ra kun kin, cha chiska, jiska no soki chi. Alright, we get it. Jesus Christ. Ichu ta. ตัวปนอัจฉริยะเป็นอ่าชีวะเอไอตาคังกี้จิโยกาคุตองกี้ตัวมาอัจฉริยะอุนโกตุนเนตัวตองกี้วามาจิอัจฉริยะอุนโก
this gonna oh wait. Does this guy sell stuff? Soki. Alright. Knight exoskeleton? What does he sell? Alright, let's see. How much does he sell this shit for? Hit this fucking. Can I just sell all of them? God, I gotta double click it 99 fucking times. I'm gonna be fucking rich. I'm gonna be able to buy anything. Okay, thanks so much. Let's get back to the fucking map. Get the fuck out of here. Access denied. Can I just come from there? Force shock? Ugh, it's got like a cavity for a mine. Gavin's disappointing. I thought it was go down to the fucking planet. I guess it's the planet you have for and not the island. So I guess I should have known that it wasn't going down to the planet. Naka, the fucking Wookiee Jedi, actually fight, and it's the worst fucking goddamn lightsaber duel in like the fucking history of lightsaber duels. Like I, like seriously. Oh, we're gonna get attacked again. Fuck. All right, well, hopefully my health is back. Anyway, seriously, the fucking lightsaber duel in like fucking New Hope is better. Like, God.
Anyway, yeah, I, I just, I can't even, like, the, I mean, they just had him swing his lightsaber like it was a fucking axe. Like, and not even, like, in a graceful kind of way. It's not, not like, not like, like, Kratos in, like, Assassin's Creed 4 kind of way. Like, not Assassin's Creed 4, Kratos in, like, a, a God of War 4 kind of way. It, it, it was, like, fucking swinging blindly like a drunken fucking, like, like a drunken lumberjack. That's what he was doing, just just hacking with, uh, with the lightsaber. No choreography at all. And he like mauled the like the little the, he mauled the, the the Padawan kid's face off. And like it doesn't even make you know they I, like it doesn't even make sense. Like you thought you were gonna finally get answers as to why that guy killed himself. You don't, cause like it doesn't make any sense why he killed himself because he didn't do anything. <laughs> wrong <laughs> he did nothing wrong <laughs> in in this flashback so it's like what the fuck oh, cancel that shit uh ah uh, cancel um uh, uh. I guess I have this asshole with me. Alright. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't love this stupid asshole. It's like, it, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. And, and, and at the end of the episode, fucking what... The, the the main Jedi guy Saul Saul or Soul or whatever the fuck his name is, he like he wants to turn himself into the Jedi and it's like for what? He didn't do anything. <laughs> like the Jedi just like the Jedi just happen upon the the fucking the the like one of them one of them goes over there and like wants to steal the kids but the rest of the Jedi just show up and the fucking place is on fire and so they go inside <laughs> because the place is on fire like they didn't go inside to kidnap the kids and so it's like what the fuck like, I, I, like none of them did anything wrong like <laughs> May burned the fucking mountain down and they just showed up while she was burning the mountain down like, I, 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 like, I mean, yeah, Soul did kill the mother, but she was about to do some weird dark spell. So, yeah, I mean, he was fully within the right to fucking stab her with a lightsaber. I mean, she was about to, she was in the middle of doing a dark spell, and she was, and it looked like she was disintegrating May. So, like, it was full within the right, in my opinion, to just stab her ass. Like, didn't make any goddamn sense. <sighs> fucking just, just... What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck. Do you know what the fuck is? I don't know what the fuck. Yes?
you got a problem, go talk to our diplomatic representative. Don't bother me with it. Don't bother me. comfortable with spying on the Republic, but if, if we could assure the Cellcat that they mean no harm, then perhaps it might be worth it. I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I don't. Oh, so. I am not for hire. 
Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. And I am Iridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent, and the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. Okay. Iridani. Ask what Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind. Though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? Hold on one sec. I just want to. Uh, oh, we go. Yeah. For a while, the Republic were hiring anyone they could get their hands on. Now they don't have any use for us, Mercs. It's too bad. I could have used the work. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that era... It's a white. Alright, maybe I should have the Mandalorian here, so considering... Alright, hold on. Let me go back to our quick save. Oh, I've got the Mandalorian. Considering. Your wish? Ah. Ready. <gasps> okay. I'm uncomfortable with spying on the Republic, but if, if we could assure the Southcath that they mean no harm, then perhaps it might be worth it. resolve to do what needs to be done. 
The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. And I am Iridorian. Alright. Gandarus. I haven't seen you since the Republic broke our ranks at the Battle of Malachor. Ergeron, I see you've got some new guns to add to your collection. Times must have been profitable for you since the war. Very profitable. When the Republic defeated our fleets, I learned a valuable lesson. It's far better to be a freelance mercenary in a war than to be a soldier for the losing side. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Except that the Ichani are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Ichani are better than the Eridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I could pretty much name my price right now. Especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. If there ever were any ruins on this world, they've long since disappeared beneath the oceans. I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malak. So I hate the Sith just as much. And with this war, there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides and make a nice profit along the way. We Mandalorians are always practical that way. Not like those bloodthirsty Iridorians or those honor-bound Ichani. Or anything else you want? Oh, 
shall bathe the starways in their blood. Hey man, clear out. You're cramping my style with the ladies. Okay. My name's Duan. Care to buy a sip girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind. You know? Right. Oh, come on. What's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not late. Wait, wait, I want to. Oh, try. it's you. I probably. a little bit wild and you want to hold it against me come on what's the matter seems i'm not why can't i why can't i freaking get her drunk and then pop her information the hell that would be the smart thing to do oh it's you i probably but I... We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bomb Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this. When we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Oh, it's you again. I prob- but I- Are you some kind of historian or something? You should forget about the past. Look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic is old news. And then I get stuck on Manan, the worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Manon should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Koto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind. You know? We... But I don't... Uh, come on, seems... Alright. Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Alright. Well, we got our freaking mission.
let's do it. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. Do you mind? I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. It's north of here, just east past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. You can't miss it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to continue my recruitments. Okay. Manan may not seem very hospitable, but a surprising amount of trade runs through it because of the Koldo trade. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Why can't the Selkath see what the Sith are really like? They should ban them all from this planet. Manon should treat us Sith better. Their day of reckoning approaches. The Selkath have forgotten the lesson of Taurus. Perhaps we should remind them. <laughs> Uh, the Grievous is another party Oh, 
Jesus Christ. I have no further questions, Your Honor, because you're fucking useless. You're as useful as my nipples. And I'm a dude. Okay. Explore here all the way. Let's go see what's in the other place. Kaith, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. I'm not a warrior, I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer, they, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent, mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. I mean, you know, you could be a little bit less of type card, you know? Just... I mean, I mean, you don't have to. You're, I mean, just because you reminisce about a, co a couple of things that happened, well, doesn't mean you had to. I mean, you're like, you can reminisce a little bit about it. it doesn't mean you, you know, you enjoyed every moment. Hey, this street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Oh, oh, what street? Hiding behind the Selkath laws. Typical Republic cowards. Only a coward would give me 20 credits. <laughs> the fuck out of friend of mine got in a bazaar. That shit you logic know, was that. The card game. Now he can't stop. It's so addictive. It's so boring. 
Back off, Republic scum. A man Tweedle is the local favorite. You should cheer along with us. He needs the encouragement. Oh, is this a swoop bike place? I don't think I need any more credits. Oh, I should go back to the store. Buy that weapon. This is swoop registration. I'll deal with that later. I'll, I'll do this when I need some more money. <laughs> You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. He's not even a fish guy. He's Oh, we make it. Nah, fuck it. Sith Wars Void? Alright, hold on. Let me. Let me go. Because I wanna. Yeah. Let me go purchase the. Those guns. We'll travel back. I think I'm gonna, for a little bit, I'm gonna change my armor to that. Yeah. Just for a little
Hey, Tyber, how's it going? Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic Embassy, so can you just bill it to them? All right, let's see. Yeah. Sure. Public Embassy. Oh. All right. Well, Let's do this over here. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wong. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Do what I want, and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. 
It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Faraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Good. It's a logical place. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Good. It is a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Seldcap to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me and we can see about getting you that information. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. Yeah. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Yes. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. Okay. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. 
Uh, because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Uh, no. no. Save. Right. You're back. Let's get. Oh. Oh. What do you want? You're not. <laughs> you lies. You work for the Republic. Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. I am Sith. I will never betray them. Your Republic is weak, and will soon fall at any rate. Gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. He wouldn't talk. Or has he already? No. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily. But they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. You can't do this to me. They would kill me in ways too horrible for you to imagine. Nothing you could do to us would make us talk. We Sith are stronger than you give us credit for. Boy. But, Tila? How did you find out about her? You think bribes will work? You must be dumber than I thought. Oh. You... There's nothing... Oh. Giving up. What the hell, man? Everything was going so good. You're back. Let's. Oh. 
Por favor. The gutless Sith, he wouldn't talk. Of course, they would never believe we. You can't do this to. But he, I, I, please don't hurt us. Success. Okay. Boy, you're not. Huh. You lies. You work for the. The Sith will never trust you again, spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. I am Sith. I will never betray them. Your Republic is weak, and will soon fall. Boy. You think bribes? Damn, we blanked out. He wouldn't talk. No. Of course they would. You can't do. Boy. You're not. Ha. <laughs> Sith will not damn giving up so soon I think he could last a bit longer come back if you want to try to break him again I don't know man this sounds like a dark side thing to me let's not let's not do it this way let's do the computer thing it seems like a doll. What do I do? So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh. Good luck. You're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. Words the holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. The second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. Okay. 
so it would be six. Hold on one second. Oh my god. Well, what happened? I dropped something. What the fuck just happened? Oh, well, whatever. It's a bottle. Alright. I don't get it. I don't get this one. 32. Okay, so that's one plus thirty one equals thirty two plus forty nine is eighty one minus Seventeen.
Oh shit. Okay. Moving along. Will I ever hit something with my lightsaber again? Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the time?
Okay, why are you like acting like you're selling drugs? You're just selling cards. Those cards are, are cards illegal. Play cards are illegal. Uh, Acto, um, Alto, or fuck this name, this place is. Something. Oh, fuck it. I get to cut something out of the lights here soon. Alright, let's see what the hell this goes. Only people who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the embassy. If you have a pass, why are you bothering me with it? Just go in. All right. I'm in. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? <sighs> I fucked your mama. All right. Your pass card is out of date, and I don't recognize you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! Let's go, we're fucking actually fighting. We're fucking actually fighting. Do that, and then you, I'm gonna fucking stab you. How'd you like that? Let's go! blow up. Ready. Sure. Yeah. 
Sure. I think these outfits look better, the silver ones. Oh shit, there's a bunch of fucking Sith. Whoa, I got fucking melted. Disappeared. They're stuck. Uh, 
Okay, what the hell happened to them? May the Lord arm is good armor. save oh my god how far back is my quick save okay not that far back we're good okay I gotta heal Let's try that again. Beat these fuckers. Thank you. 
to me what the fuck dude bro what the fuck happened <sighs> what did he what that asshole hit me with? I think I hit that guy all the way on the right let's try that Yes! Dogs. The hell's behind this door? Yeah, I don't show you. Yeah. How the fuck did I? 
All right. I don't know why I'm my like <laughs> dying so fucking quickly. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna call it here because it's you know, it's four o'clock in the fucking morning. We'll finish this base tomorrow. Let's see what the name this save. Ah. Uh, What's the name it? No. Hmm, something funny. Something funny on top of the backlight. What happened to the backlight? Oh. guys enjoyed I have phones I will see you guys next time oh this is the wrong this that's the wrong game star There you go. That's the right game. All right. Done. 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 Okay. So I'll have to do that later. All right. Good night, everybody.